What's up? It's Parthenex here. Welcome back to Terrible Frame Rate because of something I made that'll go up later the day that this is actually being recorded. Um, I just wanted to put a video out there for those of you who are the boys um, and are here to actually listen to my content. So here we go. Um, I worked on this off camera. If you aren't, weren't there for this, this is the start to the underground portion of the village. Yeah, as you see, there's a bit of a problem that we that we reached right away, and most of the uh, tunnel clearing I'll actually be doing off camera because I that's not really something that's fun. Um, seeing as I do that when I'm mining, anyways, and that will just not be me getting excited over diamonds at all because you know not deep enough for diamonds. So. Yeah, since we're dealing with a bit of lag today, I'm sorry, but it's because I'm rendering a clip because I'm I need to edit because I'm an idiot. Um, so sorry, my idiocy is vast and unstoppable. Um, I guess I'll just put torches at this level. But the goal of this little episode here is actually that we're going to go for a enchanted pickaxe um, or axe I think it is actually or just enchanted tool in general and I need a campfire to go with it um, which we can definitely craft a campfire because we are going after some bees um, which actually let me look up this um, in a crafting table how do you craft a bee box um, sure I should have it unlocked. Maybe it's in building blocks? No. Nope. Would be here. Maybe it's in redstone. No. Just throw some planks on the ground, see if I pick up some planks and check it. Alright then. Um, so, while I'm talking here, I'm going to do a quick little search here. So sorry that I'm going to stay still. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just, it's, it's loading weird for some reason, it's like loading a thing, I don't know why, um, so, okay, Okay, so there's the bee nest and the beehive. It says renewable. Okay. So I need. How do I get a bee nest? How do I cra how do I craft a beehive then? Oh my god. I just got an ad for bee removal on a Minecraft webpage about bees. How do I craft it though? Okay. Um. Okay. To get it, I need honeycombs in the first place. So that means we need to just do an adventure. So, in that case, I'm going to just drop all this stuff off here. I'm going to put these ender pearls in there. I'm going to take my arrows, take those, I'm going to take these, I'm going to take a boat, and we're going to head off, alright? Here we go, people. We're looking for bees. 
And I don't mean any, just any bees. I mean our friendly bees. Bees. Wait. Hold on a minute. Do I, for hives, do I need to have silk touch to get I need silk touch to get bees at all and I need which means that if I that if I that I should get silk touch first okay I need lapis I need a lot of lapis Again, I'm sorry about the lag. It'll probably go away half through, way through this recording session. So bear with me. I'm sorry. It might even be... Uh, might stop uh, at the end of this video, hopefully, or near the end. So we're just going to have to deal with some lag for, the, for this portion of the video. So yeah, that's all I got to say. I'm sorry taking this lapis with me because I always forget that um, lapis is now needed for enchanting and I see and I've gotten back into watching YouTube and stuff uh, Minecraft YouTube specifically and uh, yeah it's been pretty interesting the fact that you actually need this oh jeez I remember the days of when that would actually change it. Is there silk touch in one of these? Fire aspect of respiration. Do I have books in here? No, I don't even have any books set up. Oh my lord, I am not prepared. Do wait, do I have a do I have a Okay, so the preferred tool is a, is a axe, but I guess I'm going to just have to go with the pickaxe. Don't I have a silk touch touch pick somewhere in like one of the personal chests? Let's see. I think it's in here. No, 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 no. Dang! I really thought I had Silk Touch somewhere. Wonder where I, why I thought that. I guess we're gonna need to work up some levels here. I just try to close a gate, or eat a pork chop while closing a gate. My IQ is about as high as the uh, many uh, many times you can flap those gates within that portion of time I just tried to do that wow talk about degrading yourself par I swear I'm not an emo crap I swear I'm gonna just keep this i just put this in there. Mm. I'm really wondering, why did I think I had a, uh, a uh, silk touch tool? Maybe I have one somewhere and I'm just not able to think of where I put it. You know, I've done that before. Wouldn't be surprised. You are about to die, sir. Jeez. Nope, I thought I might have put it in here, if anything. I'm going to go and we're going to generate some new terrain. But I also learned that if you grow... A, a, if you a bone meal sapling within or, or nearby a flower, it has a chance, actually. Of there being bees. Which would make my life about 20 million times easier. But it's like a 2% chance. And we're about to spend pretty much all the bone meal we have. Which is not a lot at all. Because I still haven't made any form of a farm for that kind of thing. I wonder why that's still a thing that the iron golems do that weird jiggly thing when they uh, are in, move in the water. Always been wondering about that and why that's a thing. Can I steal a sapling from here? 
Got, uh, there's plenty in here. We'll we'll most likely get one pretty soon. I'm gonna grab four flowers of these these four flowers specifically. I'm gonna just give us a little room here. Didn't mean to break the torch. Um, and we're gonna do this. It's our little it's our little uh, altar t to the bees. Um, oh, I keep forgetting that fast leaf decay is a mod. Ugh. So we're gonna need to break these leaves every time. It said on the website that there's like a 2% chance of this happening, so I'm sorry that this video is going to be spent trying to make something happen that's hard, is about as hard as shiny hunting in Pokemon for me, apparently, since I got a shiny Dreadnought the other day. That was like almost a week ago now, I don't know why I was saying, like, the other day. I was looking for a Dreepy, um, and oh my god, was that a struggle. Um, I want to say, though, um, for the Pokemon D&D, &D, any of you guys that are interested in that, um, I just want to say that that has been going on, so if we actually end up running out of D&D &D episodes, normal D&D &D episodes, I'll start that, because I do have a, a scheduled day I want to actually start the Pokemon D&D &D going up, um, but if it ends up being that we run out of D&D &D before that date, somehow, because we only have a few episodes left on my computer, um, I think they're on my desktop, so... We'll just see what happens, you know? Because we are, like, having a little struggle getting everyone together. Especially since, like, I, play, I, I was, like, I text everyone. Like I said, I haven't been doing. Um, I text everyone about D&D &D being next, next Sunday. Because today is Sunday for me. Instead of, you know, the usual Saturday recordings for me. It ended up being that, um, well, dang, we're getting the right height trees, but no bees. Please. Let's see, if, actually, I think it will just work anyways, right? Yeah, I think if I just remove the wood, there's a chance that it will just spawn one on leaves. Hopefully. So we'll just keep doing this, I guess. We'll be getting a good amount of wood, though. I usually use oak wood for everything, so this is a decent way to get it, actually. Anyways. Oop, that actually got us a sapling there. What do you know? Oh, no. I just made one of these trees. Oh, man. There goes the thought of being within the episode, at least, as well, because we're down to six bone meal. And I really don't want to waste the rest that I have in that chest over there for the spruce trees. Because if you guys, if it isn't obvious to you guys, um, the main f fuel source that I've been using is charcoal. Even though I could totally go to the nether and start like putting lava buckets in there. I know, I know, actually know a few people that do that in place of like coal or anything. They use a uh, lava because they usually do like a stack at a time. You know? Because I mean lava does a, a hundred items. It does a hundred items. So like in a super smelter system you know where it auto pulls out the items from a, from the furnace. It's kind of viable actually to do that because it's like coal does eight per one bit in that that's in the uh, thing. The only problem is that you kind of need to monitor it because you need to pull the, uh, the best thing is to pull the, uh, the bucket out after as well because otherwise another bucket can't get slotted in. Another full bucket, that is. Can't be slotted in. Dang! 
No luck. I guess I guess the best act actual op option is actually to go looking for it. Looking for some bees instead of just doing this. Can we get a luck? Ah, you know, I'll just keep that there. Make a little park, I guess. I don't want these apples. Let's grind them up. Yeah. Jeez, man. Take a break. Just put these in there. And these in there as well, because we'll probably end up doing that um, more, some more. So it's good to have that at the ready. Let us go in a direction I have not gone before. Um, so we're going to be struggling to load new chunks, but thanks to 1.15, it should be a little better than 1.14 was. If you all remember that, that whole debacle. My render distance seems to also be down a little bit, so hopefully that helps out. Actually, there's something right here. I'm going to go check this out, see if I've ever been to it. I don't think I've ever been out this way very far in the water. So, there is a chest there. My guess is I've probably looted it, judging by the fact, yeah, there's nothing on top of it. So, I've definitely looted that chest then, obviously. Par, you're very smart, obviously. Uh, we're going to go around this continent, or this, uh, this, this, whatever this, I guess you could call it a continent if you want. There, there is a boat right here I would like to dive into to see if there's anything in it. Because, I mean, if this, if, if there's a treasure map and it shows something on our way, then why the heck not? Um, how did I get in here? Okay, I don't know why I couldn't figure my way out there. That was dumb. Oh, dang it. There we go. Hey, the lag will clear up now. Cool. I'm going to just leave these here, actually. I'm not going to bring this with me. I didn't need to bring the lapis with me, but apparently I decided on uh, carrying some blue dye with me. Or now, not, not, ju not just blue dye, because that's right, lapis is now, of course, for enchanting, too. Which is good that I actually killed that zombie, because... Just gonna get a little bit closer, I guess. A little bit closer to that. Don't need that. I got plenty of food on me. Thirty-eight pieces of pork chop should do um, for a while. Uh, I think it's best if we go this way, not in. Yeah, that doesn't go far in. I thought that was like a river biome, but apparently not. So we're gonna just. Keep moving. Go around this. For some reason, I just looked at that cactus and was like, oh, we don't have cactus. I have a base that's bordering three biomes. One of those is a desert. I don't know what I'm talking about. Now, this would be a cool boat to restore. Because it's oak and spruce. Which means that we have most of the stuff to do it. But it would, I, will bring, I would bring it up two blocks total. That's that's the, that's how I would fix it. Is bring it upwards two blocks. Just break every block, move it up at least two, maybe three actually. Two seems good actually with the size of the boat. Yeah, two. And then fix it from there. Ah, oh, yes, Minecraft music. Beautiful. I keep forgetting whether or not you guys can actually hear it. Sometimes, if you guys can actually hear the music. 
to. We gonna get lucky here. I played off. Uh, I played off camera when 1.15 came out, um, and when I updated it, I played off camera a couple minutes, and I spawned in a I spawned in a forest biome right next to a beehive. Like my uh, if I if I if you if I spawned in facing west, it was in my face. It was like what literally the block west of my head. It's crazy. I didn't name a tool my home coordinates. I always I need to always do that. Otherwise I'm gonna get lost. I kinda know my way back though, from where I'm going now. Is that where I just left? Am I going back? Words No. No. Yeah, because there was a boat, wasn't there? Yeah, it would be a boat right there. Right right there, if it was. Taking the boat with me. There's a creeper. Failed that. Failed that uh, kill. Oh, this is a flower fields biome. There's a 5% chance for every tree. Right here. So maybe we're lucky. Professional Minecraft player here getting beaten up by a couple zombies. That sounded like a creeper got hurt at the same time. Is there a creeper down here? There is. That's a big sad. That there's no bees on this island. I was kind of hoping because it was a flower fields. I forgot I didn't have infinity on my bow as well. Literally the best enchantment in the game, I'll say. Other than mending. Just because infinity in general has been like the savior of every single time I've ever played Minecraft and gotten to the point I'm at right now. Where I actually have like armor and everything. Because like... If I didn't have, uh, I'll take the sunflower. Actually, I don't know if they have any. Um, I'll keep bones too for bone meal. Uh, if I didn't have, if infinity didn't exist, um, every every playthrough I've gotten far enough wouldn't have would have um, like I would be so focused on killing skeletons primarily that I would have nowhere to dump. Uh, nowhere like to dump just normal blocks because I'd have ch chests, and chests and chests and chests and chests and chests and chests worth of uh, what should we call them? Arrows. Wow, that's that's how one track my mind is right now. I'm trying to fight things and. Talk at the same time. I'm usually good in PvP when I'm actually talking to someone in like Destiny and other games like such. If I talk to other players in PvP modes, if I can actually talk, if they'll actually talk back, because there's a lot of people that just don't talk in Destiny. I found because they're usually annoyed of annoyed by uh, little kids that are playing, and they're like, "Just shut up, shut up! You're not the best player in the game." of the game. Please stop. You know, that those that that kind of annoyance with little kids playing Destiny.
and uh, intercourse with their mothers, apparently. With other people's mothers. Oh, I got his bow. Hmm. Cool. If I somehow find an anvil, my bow will be just fine. Wait, wait it's got mending, right? Yeah. My sword doesn't, but my bow does. All right. Um. Let's. Okay, I just picked up everything I just threw a minute ago. Yeah. At this point, I have no idea where I'm going, and no idea where I am. So, like, I'll find my way home after we find some bees. Um, off camera. Because, of course, you guys won't want to see me boating all the way, I guess, at least. I hate that this world is mainly freaking little islands in the middle of the ocean. It annoys me slightly, but oh well. What can you do? What can you do? Oh, wow, hey. Ocean Monument. None of those trees. We're gonna we're gonna be daring. We're gonna go right over top of it. Haha! -ha! Suckers. Even though I really like guardians. Is that is that one right there? No, it's not. Man, that's gonna that's gonna annoy the crap out of me. Is if I if I see like the bare end of one bit of wood, I'm gonna think it's one every time, most likely. Hello, island. Hello, hello, hello. No. And I'm guessing no, but I'm just going to walk along this island, I guess. This little outcrop in the middle of nowhere. Man, this is this is the kind of, like, world that I'd want if, uh, if I ever um, had Mine Nautica, mo the Mine Nautica mod, but had it on, like, the surface, on, like, normal Minecraft world, instead of uh, on Planet 4. 45, 46, B. Wow, I remember that. I haven't watched a single video of some Nautic in a long while. I'm going to be guessing right now that I'm bordering on like maybe 30 minutes at this point. So I'm going to just uh, say goodbye now kind of thing, I guess. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. And I'll see you guys in the next episode that I record. That won't be long from right now. But yeah. Anyways, guys. Bye-bye.